Hey yo internetters, welcome back to another Pokemon opening and so for today we'll be opening up the first partner packs for the month of May and in the month bef uh, before that, uh, I think it's April right? Yeah. So the long story about this first partner pack, I was supposed to open the first partner pack in like random Pokemon videos. For this pack, I wasn't able to get any for a very long time because I missed the- Oh gosh, I'm so sorry about the camera and the um audio i think that gotta hurt so yeah they have two booster packs in here i think it will always have a sun and moon base but for this yeah i couldn't get it when it first came up because i totally forgot about it and when i totally forgot about it i couldn't find any in the like store or anything like that and so the only way i could get it is from ebay because i missed the ordering but i was like man i don't want to support scalpers so then i was like you know what what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold on and skip this month and whenever we're desperate we'll have to see what we could come up with but then so lucky happened that my one of the local game store nearby was able to have one in stock and managed to get it for me for msrp so i really appreciate that game so, local game stop that's near me and so that's the first um for the month of april for this so i'm trying to finish out this binder for sure and then after that we'll open up i don't know why i'm flipping the binder back and forth <laughs> but we'll open this up and then we'll get this month in and hopefully i was prepared uh hopefully i'll be prepared for the next month and remember and have it on schedule but for this month i managed to get it on time because i was like i don't want to miss another month and i have to go through all so there's about another battle style so it's both um, months so far is battle style packs and then sun and moon and yeah don't want to miss another month like that i was pretty nervous i was like oh my god am i not going to be able to finish um one of the months it's freaking out but low key we're good we're good to go and finishing up this so so far we got we're up to date with the binder and i'm pretty pretty excited about it so close to finishing out this year for the 25th anniversary binder so that's good something that i think is really cool to do for this we'll open uh in these orders so and battle styles you know i i said i won't open battle style because it's not a set that i'm looking for but you know so happens that most of the products in pokemon right now are having battle styles so i'm like okay you know we'll, we'll do it we'll stick with it so we have sun and moon we have energy card gramble metapod chinchu paris polywag the weird knit like polywag Merrill has that weird knit and this is a EV interesting art I've never seen this before we have a reverse holo toucan and in last card we have a art full art I don't yeah full art I think yeah it's a full art I don't know it's been so long with Pokemon um trainer card this is pretty dope I I'm really exhausted so I'm sorry if my energy isn't there but this is a full art trainer card I should be super ecstatic about it um card looks really awesome and you know full art cards are pretty much popping off and i am double sleeving this so i must i don't even know how to properly double sleeve so i'm gonna hold this card and i'm just gonna push it in this is my first time trying to double sleeve because everyone's like you know you should like double sleeve your cards you know to protect your cards i was like you know what you're absolutely right i should double sleeve my card and there we go we double sleeve it and um yeah, that's a full art training card. Nice pull for the first Pokemon pack. And not only that, we took a break from opening Pokemon in a while, right? Well, that that's what that wasn't good. Um, but yeah, like we took a break from Pokemon and doing Pokemon videos and pen spinning videos, all these type of videos because we've been busy. But it's okay. It's okay. We're going back on it, getting on schedule, and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll find it. We'll we'll get back to the uh, rhythm, and it'll be good. I'm trying to. I'm um, suffering out here. No, I'm not. I'm actually just juggling a lot of different things. And you know, many of you are really patient for it. And I really am thankful for that, for understanding and sticking around. And yeah, we're good. We're good because we have awesome people. We have Tapu Lu Blue uh, for the last card. And we're not going to double sleeve this guy. He's only a hollow. And I'm like, you know, I'm sorry, hollows. But you know, you don't get the best full treatment, right? For this next one, we'll pull out another battle style. And we'll have this. And then I know what you're thinking. Like, is this all you're gonna do? Is a battle style opening? I mean, not battle style, first partner pack 
opening. And I'm like, you know, it was that that was the plan. Not gonna lie to you, that was the plan. But then all of a sudden, if you stay tuned, you'll find that I accidentally stumble upon some Pokemon stuff. So I'm like, we're gonna have that in the video too. So make sure you stick around. This is a reverse hollow, um Licky Lick Licky Lick Licky Licky. Oh dang, I guess that's a another version of Lickitung. Uh, I always thought Lickitung was like oh, interesting Pokemon, man. Um, but yeah, I guess we have a new version of them, or a similar Pokemon, or similar to Lickitung. And yeah, Licky Licky. Well, well, well. How creative. And so, yeah, we have this last pack right here for now for the first partner pack. We're going through this, seeing what we get. Sandial, Ratatata. Well, that's an interesting one, bro. That's pretty good. And then last part, I mean, not last part, a reverse hollow, Chinchu. And last card, we have another full art card. We're, we're full art for days. I guess um, Sun and Moon just handing out full art cards. Lima. I think that's how you pronounce your name. I think that's. Is that I? Or is it L's? It has to be I's, right? Capital I's. Ema? I guess that's her name. But we pulled another full art Pokemon card. We got two double hits out of four packs. This is amazing. Oh goodness. I, I might as well become a full art Pokemon collector too. Like just collect straight full art cards. We have this, these two. Professor, I don't know how to pronounce the name. I don't want to butcher it. I did watch um, the Alolan uh, anime right now. So I'm going to try and finish up. Don't no, forgot how he pronounced his name. Um, and then we have these two full art cards. Not bad. And so, a quick break. Alright, so I managed to get this right here. The Ancient Mew. I was like, you know, since I was at the local GameStop. I mean, not local game, local GameStop. No, I was at my local game store. And I saw that he was selling singles now. And I was like, you know what? An Ancient Mew. I was like, I had an Ancient Mew one time. I did, when I was a little kid. I lost it. And I was like, well, Ancient Mew is like, you have to have Ancient Mew in your collection, right? Because it shows that you went watch the movie. And so I kept this, I bought this just for nostalgia's sake because I was like, yo, I used to have one of these. I really, this was one of my favorite cards for a very long time when I was a little kid. Um, Ancient Mew, yeah. And this, I think you took this into like, I forgot where you take it, but you fill out the information because Ancient Mew card is like, you can't read it, right? And this card is like, oh, look at this. It's straight, I think. It looks straight. I don't know. It feels like it's bent a little bit. Yeah, kind of slightly bent. Yeah, it is. But this is the Ancient Mew card. It looks so good. I re This is like, for a very long time, one of my favorite cards uh, when I was really young. And I used to have a prize. I used to like really love it. I don't know, because it was so unique compared to all the other Pokemon cards. I thought... Like I had like this super awesome special rare card, but you know, everyone, everyone practically had this card, right? Because it was a promo. Um, I don't even know if this card fit in this. It looks like it doesn't even fit. It's so hard to go through, but um, no matter, no matter, we're forcing it in. We're forcing this sucker in. There we go. And then we'll double sleeve it and it will go to the next pack right here so I got this card in my collection again the Mew even though it's like bent I'm sad but it's okay Mew card ancient Mew one of my favorite Pokemon cards and so what do we found we found a Rabidash Galarian Rabidash V box and this box is pretty awesome and um yeah hold on so yeah, we have the Galarian Rabidash box that we found in the store. I didn't mean to get it. I didn't want to get it. Uh, but I was like, you know, because cause we were already going to do the um, just a simple box. But yeah, let's just get to opening this because I'm wasting a lot of time and I'm rambling on. Darkness of Belief is pretty cool. Has the Charizard in it as everyone out there. Battle style. You have the Urshifu's, the uh, Rapid and Single Strike cards. That's uh, really intense right now too. Um, and you know, in battle style, I'm not too into it. Uh, that's all I know because it's like you know those are the hype cards, so I haven't looked into that set. Uh, for me, 
like I said, I want the chilling rain because chilling rain is pretty neat. Is pretty neat. So we have a more peco, a double duke, whatever. Chero, um, bell sprout. I'm gonna stop trying to pronounce these names eventually. Sizzlepee, Shinx, uh, a rapid energy strike, and last card. <gasps> Ooh, wow! We have an alternate Tyranitar V art. I think this is one of the good cards that everyone wants too. But unfortunately, like, like look, it's misaligned. Look at that alignment problems right there. But nonetheless, we added it another card to our collection that's pretty uh, sought after, right? And so for the Mew card, like I think I forced. Well, I need to stop. Well, Mew card's over, Joe. We gotta, we gotta move on. So, yeah. Anyways, we're double sleeving this alternate art Tyranitar V. I think everyone wants this. This is by far one of the best Pokemon. Well, not one of the best. I think I had, I think I had better uh, Pokemon pulls than other videos. Uh, so if you want to go check out those other videos, you know, I'll leave it up there for you to click. But so far, you know, maybe this is the strategy. You know, take a break from Pokemon. Be like, hey, I don't, I don't feel like opening Pokemon cards anymore. And then you pull up good cards. But then when you're looking for therapy, you do it every single week. So yeah, uh, <laughs> that's something. Yo, this is a nice tube one. I like it. It's pretty good. Weedle. Um, yeah. Corfish. This was a good card. I liked him when I was playing the game. Sway Blue last card and then Cacturn for the rare. Yeah, Corfish. I like him. I think he evolved into like Krognaut or whatever. How you pronounce his name? Don't know how to pronounce his name, but yeah. Uh, we have a green bag. Oh, I, oh, I, I forgot about like the cold cards doing that. Well, we'll just speed run through this. Boom, 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 and then we'll just keep speed running through it because like you know you saw the back, and then I don't want to waste time. Licky, licky, yet again, reverse, rapid, um, reverse, you know, energy. I mean, trainer card. But yeah, speed running through that. Uh, because we ruined the surprise with the uh card, and I don't think anyone really want to look at common. I don't think. And we'll look at one of the comments. So this is the last pack. Hopefully we pull a hit to end the video on, even though we had like multiple hits so far already. And we're happy with that. But let's see what we get. We get psychic energy. We have Pokemon Breeder, Puppetar, Suelius, Morlu, Hanseer, Teddy Ursa, a Trap Pinch, a Carnivine. Last card we have a Del Caddy. And so yeah, that's what we pulled for the cards that we managed to get. So the cards that we managed to pull in this whole opening that was amazing is a Tyranitar V alternate art, Rabidat. The Mew don't count because he was already a given. And then we have two alternate art, which is Lima and then the Professor dude from Alola, uh, I think. Um, and yeah, so this was a really good opening and I really appreciate you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and until next time.